December 5th, 1955 was one of the most memorable and inspiring days of my life. History records this day as the beginning of the modern civil rights movement that transformed America and influenced freedom revolutions around the world. I had been arrested four days earlier in my hometown of Montgomery, Alabama for refusing to get up and give my seat on a bus to a white man, which was much resented customary practice at the time. Martin Luther King said of me and others, when the history books are written in the future, somebody will have to say, there lived a race of people, of black people, fleecy looks and black complexion, of people who had moral courage to stand up for their rights, and thereby they injected a new meaning into the veins of history and of civilization. These are only a few names from our history, in a few words, there are so many other now. Poets, musicians, artists, doctors, politicians, lawyers, professors. We call ourselves African Americans. We cherish our heritage in this, in its completeness. African and American, we were here, and we still are, building lives and legacies. Perhaps no one helped us realize our worth and our dreams quite like the Reverend Martin Luther King, Jr. Martin is here today. I am in Birmingham because injustice is here. I am compelled to carry the gospel of freedom beyond my own hometown. I cannot sit idly in Atlanta and not be concerned about what happens in Birmingham. Injustice anywhere is a threat to justice everywhere. I have a dream that someday my color and children will not be judged by the content of by the color of their skin, but by the content of their character. I have a dream today. Thank you. I have a dream too. I hope each of you has a dream, and I hope each of you has the knowledge that your dreams can come true. So dream high, lift up your heads, and dream high. Back to the studio. Oh, back to the studio. Oh, okay. So, we are on. Have a good night. Wait, I have a better break.